What up, what up? Your boy got new glasses. A few things we're gonna do this episode. First, we're gonna add a play button. We, we like buttons. Yes, yes. We'll then implement the button so that when we click on the button, it's gonna start the game. And also when we die, we have to restart the game. And after that, we're gonna implement some levels so that each time we uh, complete a level, the game gets harder. And also how to reset the whole thing if if we die okay that's the whole plan for this episode when we're done with that all we need to do is just make the scoring system and then we're done so that's good news that i can stop using pi game because what the hell but okay adding a play button this calls for a new class button before we begin though, let's start this whole thing in false. Just so the game can start in an inactive state. And then we're gonna basically make some settings of the button. Look at all of these. You can pause the video to have a look what I just wrote. <laughs> and then this one, I don't get this one. We'll make the, the, the function right now though. But like, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of weird how they wrote that. But okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So this would basically be our code for the button. And we also have to draw the button in the alien invasion game, which is this one. All right, okay. So now that we have this cool ass class, our button, holy shit. Let's go back to our main file, import it, gotta initialize it here, self so button is equal to button. Put a self and also a message, which is gonna be play. Why do we have to put in this? Well, because here we have the self, we have the alien invasion game, and we have the message. Well, self is always skipped for some reason. I feel like AI game will be put in here. And then message will uh, will be this one. Okay. So on our button, because we filled play uh, in our message, it's gonna show us play on the button. <laughs> you'll see later, you'll see later. And when do we want to draw the button? Well, when the game is inactive. So let me see. So we would have to go to the update screen. Where the fuck are you, bro? So it would be here. Oh god, oh god, why? I don't know. So let's see. Uh, so if you run the code, I hope that it works. You guys are such bitches, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, rep, message, message, msg. Well, here we go then again. The fuck's happening? Wait, why? Self dot... Ah! Guys, I swear I'm not retarded. I, I, I don't know. Guys, I swear I'm not, I'm not retarded. Okay, guys. Jesus. Ah, oh, okay. Somehow, <laughs> somehow we did it. Hell yeah. Nice. But now, of course, we gotta we gotta make it so that when we click on it, it starts the game. So how do we do that, huh? Please, book, tell me. So you gotta basically think if I click on the button, then basically this has to turn into true because then the game starts. So we have to go to the part where we check for events here, and then we just add an elif statement. Elif events with the mouse position value now we gotta make this function again somewhere down the line here so let's just put it all the way down here and this will be our code so basically if our mouse position collides with the buttons rectangle so if our mouse position is on the oh shit oh shit oh shit so if our mouse is on the play button and it clicks boom then we want to set this flag to true. And then, if it's true, then this will be true. And this whole thing starts. Wow, that's, wow, that's cool, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> epic. Oh my god. So it works. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Okay, it does not work. Uh, well, the code kind of works. Well, I cannot use it though. 
I have to figure it out, guys. Oh god, oh god. Ah, it's because I changed the whole thing last episode. Let me see though. So I need to change a few stuff. Okay, let's see it. It is our last life and oh nice. If we press play, what happens? <laughs> Okay, I did not expect that, but it kind of makes sense. Yeah, sure. Okay, we got to reset the game. So how do we do that? Well, we got to go to the step before we want to reset everything, which is basically when we click the game, everything got to reset. So basically, if our mouse clicks, it will be true. We also have to add in some other stuff. Say, hey, run this function also we gotta empty all the aliens save for the bullets and then we also gotta create a new fleet and also center the ship uh so let me get this straight if we press the button the ship's lives will get reset this order is kind of fucked up but the game will run the uh, aliens group will be empty there will be no bullets on the screen and then we, we create a new fleet and we center the ship i think that's right Okay, so one more life left, and then we play, and it resets. Oh shit, oh shit guys, if I press on the area where the play button was, it will reset the whole thing, so we gotta also fix that. And to change that, it's kinda easy, if this is true, and the flag is false. Because remember, when we click on the thing, we set it to true, right? But if this is true and the game active is false, <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining. Basically, when we activate, well, basically when we press the button, it gets this flag is get. Basically, when we press the button, we we turn this into true. And if we write another code that says, "Hey, if the self dot gay stats the game active is false, then we can only run this code." Which will be written like this and then uh it's better if we store this in a variable just to make life a bit easier and uh, let's test the code and we can only press it once so the, the code works the code works okay cool so that was easy guys right right <laughs> let's also do it that we hide the cursor when we press play because yeah it, it kind of it's kind of annoying so when we press the button we want to set Visible to false. Here, when the game ends, we want to set this to false, which is the game status, basically when the game ends. And we also want to set the mouse to visible, so we can press the button, which is pretty handy. Okay, let's test it out. Mouse is now hidden. Okay, in the last life. And after this, we should get a play button and our mouse. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. Holy shit, this... <laughs> it took a while it really took us a while huh my goodness oh integrating this whole thing is crazy man all right now the last part let's make this game just a bit harder so we can go to settings and we can make a setting for speeding up the game basically and what this means is basically every time we complete a level uh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna speed up the game with 1.1 and now we gotta actually decide which of these things we wanna make harder by 10 percent basically each time let's put this here and then write a function this is going to take into account which parameters we actually wanna change and we want to change the ship's speed so let's just put the standard stuff here and we also want to change the alien speed we also want to set the fleet direction. And if you guys remember, positive one means going to the right. Negative one means going to the left. So we always want to set it to one, like so. Okay. Let's also make a new function to increase the speed, of course. And this one's actually funny because it's basically this. And then putting this one here. And then ending this sign. And I didn't even know this was a thing. 
And what this basically means is this ship's speed, which is 1.5, we multiply that with the self.speed up scale, which is 1.1 for everything here. Then we basically have to integrate these two in the main alien file. And if we think about it, when do we want this to happen? Well, when the aliens are basically all dead. And the code for when the aliens are basically empty, it's in here. So every time there are no more aliens, this will happen. And the other thing was implementing this one, which basically says if it's game over, we want to set the settings back to the original standard level one stats when do we want this to happen when we click the play button which would be here i mean it's basically just adding this i guess <laughs> okay wait <laughs> i gotta gotta fix this real quick what the hell does this mean i mean it says it has no attribute wait am i fucking uh how does this make sense? Wait, huh? I fucking swear. I fucking swear, guys. You would think I would learn. You would think I would learn. Ah. Ah, oh, no. No. God damn it, man. God damn it, man. Yo, I suck at this game, actually, bro. Okay, so the, the whole thing till now works. Oh my god, that's that's crazy. Oh, thank god. Alright, this episode was kind of fun. I, I kind of enjoyed it. It was good. It was pretty good. Alright, what an episode. Jeez Louise. So I think there's going to be two episodes left. The only part we actually really need to do is uh, implement the scoring system, implementing the life system, and showing the amount of lives that we've got. And then basically we're done with the whole alien invasion arc. This, <laughs> so oh my god, <laughs> took me took me a while. It it took me a while. Not gonna lie. And then we can move to the next arc, which is gonna be the game engine arc, where we're gonna work not with Pi Game because Jesus Christ, it's awful. I don't know how you guys work with Pi Game. I, you have my respect, but I cannot do it. So we're gonna change to Godot. And I think life's gonna be a lot easier. We're gonna make we're gonna make some cool games in Godot, guys. We're gonna make some cool games. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.